we want to find the derivative of f of x equals negative two cosine cubed of five x squared. The first thing we should recognize is that our function is a composite function and therefore to find the derivative, we have to apply the chain rule. The basic idea of the chain rule is to find the derivative of a composite function. We find the derivative of the outer function and then multiply by the derivative of the inner function. And many times, once we learn the chain rule, the differentiation rules are given as we see here in terms of u, where the chain rule is built in and u is the inner function. Notice how the derivatives are now a product where the first factor is the derivative of the outer function and the second factor, u prime, is the derivative of the inner function. So the most important thing when applying the chain rule is to identify the inner function. So looking at f of x, since we have the cosine function being raised to the third power, it might be helpful to rewrite this in the form f of x equals negative two, and then in parentheses, cosine five x to the second raised to the third power. In this form, I think it's much easier to see that the inner function would be cosine five x squared, so this would be our u if we're using these formulas here which means if it's helpful, we can think of this as negative two u to the third. So to find f prime of x, we can apply the power rule here with the chain rule built in. So we're gonna multiply by the exponent, that would give us negative six. We're gonna keep u the same, so we'd have cosine five x to the second. Subtract one from the exponent, so that's two times u prime, which would be the derivative of cosine five x squared. What's a little more challenging about this example is that notice that cosine five x squared is also a composite function, where now the inner function is five x squared, and since we've already used u, we could let the inner function be equal to v, if it's helpful. So I'll have to apply the chain rule again in order to find this derivative which means the original function is actually a composition of three functions. So we have f prime of x equals negative six cosine five x squared to the second times the derivative of cosine five x squared, which we could think of as cosine v. So we'll have negative sine v times v prime or negative sine five x squared times the derivative of five x squared, which would be 10 x. Now we need to clean this up, so we have f prime of x equals negative six times 10 x is negative 60 x, we have a negative here, so it's positive 60 x. And we have two factors of cosine five x squared, so we'll write this as cosine squared five x squared, one factor of sine five x squared. So this would be our derivative function where we applied the chain rule twice in order to find this derivative. I hope you found this helpful.